Amy. Hello. Hello. How are Big you? High fives. Shall we safety first to get on with it? Yes. Seatbelts. That's a great example that you're setting. Well done. Amy, what's been happening in your life? Um, well, right now it's school holidays. So <gasps> I'm enjoying what? the teacher life Man. of <laughs> taking a break. Teachers are the worst. Yep. <laughs> what, what do you get now officially? It's a hundred weeks a year leave. <laughs> I think that's how it works, isn't it? We wish. <laughs> so I teach English and dance. Nice. Um, there, that's a rare combo. Yeah, I'm actually a dance specialty, so I did a Bachelor of Fine Arts yes. at university, um, majoring in dance. And Great. Then I just kind of fell into the teaching English, <laughs> um, which is mostly what I do now. So. Yeah, do you enjoy English? I do. I'm learning a lot. I'm still new to it, so it's mm -hmm. still early days and it's challenging um, and I definitely feel like I started on the back foot because I um, didn't study it at university unlike yeah. the other teachers in my position um, did a degree in English <laughs> so yeah. they learned all about literature and yeah, all kinds of things that I was just never exposed to so um, yeah, kind of started from scratch but mm. um, I'm really hoping teaching English can take me overseas one day mm -hmm. and um, yeah so I'm really passionate about learning and becoming the best teacher that I can be. For, to, to be a dance specialist teacher you would have spent hours, years yeah. learning dance and those sorts of things. Is that it, it, clearly something you've enjoyed? Yeah it's something that I'm very passionate about. Mm -hmm. I'm curious if I've ticked up my 10,000 hours yet to be a Expert. <laughs> um, Surely you would have the amount of <clears throat> rehearsal and stuff. Yeah, my my high school was basically spent go to school, um, get over to the studio every afternoon, and spent multiple hours almost every afternoon um, dancing. I went to a boarding school. Yeah, so uh, just easy, right? Had to get the school bus over there, and um, gosh, yeah, I always missed. Um, homework time yeah. so I always just came back to the dorms and you know I, I, I don't think I did my homework like just the teachers must have never have checked because I don't know when I would have had time to do it to be honest yeah um but I yeah I loved it um I was very very driven and um yeah I couldn't find anything else that I loved as much so I kept going all the way through to tertiary education Gosh. <laughs> Bit of lethargical dancing at church, but some of this. No. No? <laughs> Every time, people always ask me, are you going to get up in the aisles? And I'm like, no, it's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a ballerina at heart. Like, mm -hmm. I always studied classical dance. Oh, so like you're full on swan like some of that stuff. <laughs> um, well, I guess I got a little bit more cultured at university. So I started to explore other styles, including contemporary dance. Yeah, ballet and contemporary. Yeah. I can watch it all day long. Um, Smash out a jeté with the best of them? I could, if you wanted me to. <laughs> <laughs> See, don't push that because we will stop for coffee and You'll it'll be, it's time. Come on. Uh, Position one, let's do it. I'll do a pirouette. <laughs> How does Jesus become, you know, the Lord of your life? Mm. I didn't really make a commitment until I'd left high school and was in my first year of university I'd moved down to Brisbane was mm. all by myself and um, I'm the kind of person that when I hear something I instantly decide whether it's truth or not yep so I think for a really long time I had believed that God was real mm. and that Jesus had died for us but I never really accepted it as being a part of my life and in my first year of university, I decided that, well, if this stuff is true and I believe it, then I need to make some changes in my life. Yeah. So I guess it was kind of when I started to actively change my life because I because I believed it that I realized I'd made a commitment. How, what was your, your baptism like? Six months ago. Sure. Um, I got baptized in the Jordan River um, while I was over in Israel. What? Yeah. <laughs> um, it was one of those things that I've been thinking about for a really long time as in just getting baptized and I happened yeah. to be in Israel and they've got a dunking pool and I was like, well, you've been thinking about it, just do it. Like, you know, yeah. here. So, um, it was the middle of 
winter. It was the last day of December and it was freezing. I was wearing jeans with thermals and boots all day long with yes. like three jackets. Um, and, you know, we put on a white gown and walked into the freezing river. It was so cold. Um, but yeah, it was pretty incredible. And were there, I mean, other, so many things, mm -hmm. so many questions. <laughs> Yeah, where is your home church family? Like, where do you call home from a church perspective? Well, I guess I'm a bit homeless at the moment because <gasps> I <laughs> because I recently moved. Yeah. So, um, I moved last holidays, mm -hmm. so I've been away for about three months now. I was very much at home on the Sunshine Coast at Bells in yep. Caloundra West. Um, so I was going there regularly and had been there for a few years. Definitely, the people there are, have become my family. Yeah. Um, but I'm now in the process of church shopping, so I'm. Whoa. Yeah. What's that like? I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I. It took me three months to go church shopping because I didn't want to go church shopping. Sure. Um. Definitely, it's just for me about relationships, about the connections. I reckon we should probably have a coffee. And uh, pick this conversation up, yeah? Okay, sounds What do you think the Uniting Church um, in, could do better for you as a young adult involved in the church? I don't really know if I know how to answer that because I don't feel the church is there to serve me. Um, Whoa, that's a great angle. Yeah, keep talking. So, you know, I think if I want change to happen, then I should be a change maker myself. Um, what are your hopes for the future? <laughs> you know, that's a loaded question. Um, I'd love to teach overseas. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely something that I've been wanting to do for a really long time. And for a really long time, maybe a couple of years, I know I'm not that old. Um, <laughs> um, I would love to run my own business that produces good in the world um, by supporting some kind of organisation, probably in an overseas community as well as supporting the community that it's established in, mm -hmm. um, using dance as the platform for that. Um, so yeah, travel, business, teach. Maybe kid, family in there kid's somewhere. Kids, husband, I guess, yep. <laughs> I'm just going to focus on things that I can't control. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, Do you want a rainbow family? What, what is a rainbow family? One of every colour. No, but I'm keen on black children. <laughs> Can you edit that out? <laughs> definitely not now that you've asked to. Um, yeah, I'm definitely um, all for adoption. I know that's really can be quite difficult in Australia. So whether that means I would live mm. overseas to make that happen, I'm more than willing to do because I just believe in... There are so many children that already exist in the world that don't have the love of a mum and a dad or mm. just a mum or just a dad. They don't have anybody. Um, and to provide them with a safe place, shelter, food, love and care, do you know, that's... That to me would be fulfilling my life calling. Yeah. Um, Amy, what a life you're living. 
so far already. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I hear that. Uh-huh. It's been so great to have uh, a chat with you, Amy. Thank you for having me. Oh, high fives all around. <laughs> you have an amazing day. Yeah, thank you. See ya. Bye. Red fish too.